Hi everyone, I have got my new ink box. I know I'm so excited. I have got four bottles of wine to try. I think I have two whites and two reds in here. So I'm so excited to check them out and share them with you. And uh, yeah, and we all know because it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diaries featuring Wink Wine and a quick little dinner. So this is going to be my 17th box of Wink Wine. I'm a little behind. My 18th box is already shipping and I haven't even opened these yet. I don't know what happened. I feel like I've been doing a wine diary every week. But anyway, I want to start doing some summer wines as well. So I may just end up putting this on hold. I bought some summer wines, some fruit flavored wines. I think I've got like strawberry lemonade. I've got, well, I want to do a sangria a battle of. I want to do a battle of the peach wine. So I'm looking for different things to do, some battles of, and get some summer wines in there for everyone. So anyway, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. So I don't know exactly the order that these are going to be posted because I do want to get some summer wines in there. But anyway, wink wine. I love my Wink Wine uh, subscription. I get it every month. I am probably going to put it on hold next month just because now I'm eight bottles behind and I want to do some things in between. Um, it's easy enough that said you're supposed to uh, put that you want to skip it two days before it ships and you usually do get plenty of notice about that. So I will probably do that next month, but you never know. I may just get it and stock up on wine. I have no idea why. Well, just in case they go out of business or something like that. I need to be prepared. I know, I wasn't a Girl Scout, but it was a brownie. And you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared for things like this. But anyway, so I've got, again, it's my 17th bottle, my 17th box. I'm gonna have a link up there, which is gonna be probably one of the first videos that I did with Wink. I used to try to get all four bottles in one video, but it was like way, way too long. And I just felt too rushed. And yeah, so I like doing a bottle at a time. So in this one, um, I'm, I have two from California, I've got one from Greece, one from Spain, I've got one white, and i got three reds. I know, it sounds really, really good. But again, in that video up there, it's going to do a lot more explaining on how Wink works, how I've got that link in my description below. If you use my link, uh, it's going to take you to a quick questionnaire on the Wink website about different foods that you like. From there, they're going to curate a box of wine for you. If you decide that you want to try it, your first four bottles are $29.95. Shipping is free. I get a free bottle. Thank you very much. And uh, if you decide you like it and you want to stick with it, every month they are going to recommend some bottles for you based again on your questionnaire and any feedback that you give on the wines that you tasted. Um, the next four bottles are going to be $59.95. Again, shipping is going to be included in that. Uh, disclaimer, if you go on that website, you do not need anybody's link. Your first four bottles, regardlessly, are going to be $29.95. Just nobody gets a free bottle. I know that's the best part for me but anyway it's always fun no matter how you decide to do it and then of course if you do I'd love to hear you share um, how the wines are working out for you alrighty so for my wine tonight we are going to have a California wine and I got uh, my cork out I've got my aerator in here from Miss Barbara Jean age is just a number and this is again from California and it's called the bluffer it's a 2021 Robles Valdeque or Valdique, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's going to tell me a little something about it on the back of the bottle. It may or may not want to focus, so you know I'm not going to argue with my webcam. I argue enough with Alexa. I don't need to argue with that too. But anyway, we have a description in my cheat sheet, so we'll get to that. So for my dinner, and again, it's been so hot, so humid. This summer, I just love having salads and some kind of protein with it. So I bought from Target 
and yeah, I had the home shopper do it again for me. But anyway, so we've got this bourbon black pepper beef sirloin steps tips. And um it would have been it's seventeen twenty two a pound, so this package was thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents. And more than likely I am going to have tonight's meal, probably a lunch tomorrow, and maybe another dinner out of it. So I'm gonna get three meals out of that. So that's pretty cool. So again, and it, you said you're supposed to like put it in like a tablespoon of oil. Well, instead of putting extra oil in here, I use my sweet baby raised my sweet teriyaki sauce. So I put that in there and then I cook the beef tips in there just to get them cooked through. There's still a little pink inside, which is how I like it. And I got it over salad. I bought an Asian salad to put on here. So I've got the Asian dressing on top to give it a little extra flavor. I bought some of those, like the French's, the uh, crispy onion strips. So I put that on there. I wanted some blue cheese crumbles. So blue cheese, I'm gonna tell you, I was terrified of blue cheese. It looked, it looked disgusting. But anyway, I had it in a restaurant once and I said, could you put the blue cheese crumbles on the side because I, I don't like blue cheese. And she says, have you ever tried it? And I said, well, no, I'm just afraid to. And she says, well, I'll put it on the side, but promise me that you'll taste it. And I said, okay, thinking I wasn't going to, but she was standing there waiting for me. So I put some blue cheese crumbles on it and oh my God, it was good. So anyway, I was gonna get some blue cheese crumbles, but they didn't have any. So we substituted with uh, feta cheese, which I was also afraid to try once. Yeah, so this is my dinner tonight. This is gonna be so, so good. Nice light supper, a little bit of wine, just a little bit of relaxation. You know, Fridays, as much as you're so excited about Fridays, you know that you worked hard all week, you know you need a break, and you just can't wait to sit down and relax. Alrighty, so let's get into the wine. So, again, we've got this Bluffer wine, this Valdeca or whatever. We've got the aerator in here and I have no idea why I never hold this right to get this done right I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here and I hope everyone had a great week if you worked hard get ready to relax and enjoy the weekend you deserve it so it is a nice deep purple it is coating my glass doesn't have a lot of legs coming down, but it is coating the glass nicely. Um, when I hold it up to the ring light, of course I can see through it, but it does look nice and thick. Well, full maybe. Alrighty, just gonna kind of swirl this around in here and then see what I can sniff. I'm gonna let this breathe a little bit more and just um, get the air in there and just let those fragrances kind of unleash and come to the surface after being bottled up for so long. Mm, it smells sweet. I smell plum, maybe strawberry, maybe even raspberry. Something else, I don't know what else, but something, I'm not pepper, but just some kind of spices or something that I'm smelling in here. Anyway, cheers everyone. Happy Friday. Here's to a super fabulous, relaxing weekend or I, I like to relax on the weekend, but if you like to go, 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 have some fun, go out and do things, go to parks, go to zoos, go to museums, go shopping, go out to eat, go to the beach. You guys do that. Have some fun for me. Cheers. Hmm. This is nice. It's nice and dry. I feel like it's dry. In between my teeth and that's how dry it is it's dry up here it's dry in the bottom the inside of my cheeks right here feel dry but the back of my throat where all those fruits and everything kind of settled that's where the acidity kicks in your mouth starts to water and you thank god you're not in front of me because i would be spitting all over you about now i know i'm gonna have to clean my monitor later but anyway just um just really a nice nice light, nice flavor some nice fruit gonna have another quick sip cheers mm. it's got a nice creamy texture i'm not gonna say full but definitely medium to full body again it's like my in between my teeth are dry but the back of here is just watering like crazy 
So again, it's strawberry, raspberry. I'm thinking plum in here. Some kind of spices, not pepper, but some something in here that's giving it a different kind of taste. Alrighty. But I think that's going to be, and of course I've got this at room temperature. I haven't had my air on at all. So it's about 77, 78 degrees in here. So I think I want to put the heat on. It's humid. So anyway, let me grab my cheat sheets and see what we have. So this is a newer wine. It's a 2021. It's called the Bluffer and the Val de Cay. It's from Paso Robles, California. And out of there's only been 659 people that have tasted this and rated it, and they gave it a 4.0. So that's that's pretty good. Four out of five. It's I, I thought it said silly. It's a silky dark fruit, and it's unique. It says it's got a medium body dry and it's 13.5 percent alcohol it says tasting notes of dark plum uh, fresh herbs raspberry and strawberry and it says one of california's rarest grapes the val de Cay, or however you say it is an irresistible red that delivers brambly fruits and bright acidity is it gamay is it grimache grenache we won't make you guess again this bluffer is val de Cay. With only a handful of acres growing in California, Val de Cay is a grape you've likely never heard of. The only other place it's grown is in southern France. Even the first California farmers to discover this grape confused it for the Napa Gamay until a traveling Frenchman set them straight. We harvested this sustainably farmed fruit from 40-year-old Delta K vines, 40 years, that's amazing. I grow plants and it's dead the next year, 40 years, wow. The oldest in California. From the Paso Robles Highlands and fermented and aged in the stainless steel for freshness, the result is a fruity red with lots of lively tart berry flavor and an herbal kick to finish. How to serve it, it says room temperature or slightly chilled, and I think that would be good, slightly chilled too. It's it's a, of course 77 I think is probably a little warm, so a little chilled would be nice. Um, pairs well with burgers, pizza, Indian, and barbecue. And again, I am having mine with my salad. Did I bring my fork in? I'm gonna cry if I didn't have my fork. I'm just gonna have a little taste here a um, piece of steak I'm gonna grab some feta cheese and a piece of steak okay hmm this is nice and tender it was already seasoned with just that little bit of the sweet raised teriyaki sauce that I put in here gives it some extra flavor it's got the Asian dressing on it as well so we've got some really nice flavors going on Cheers, everyone. So good. So anyway, I took the torque out. Took the cork out, not took the torque out. But anyway, the cork has the insignia there, that bluffer or whatever right there. So that's just really cute. I love having corks that have a little bit of signature on them. And again, so it just kind of matches the label. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much. For stopping in spending a little bit of your friday night with me i hope everyone had a great week and you're looking forward to a great weekend <sighs> I, I know i just oh i love the weekend even if i'm not doing anything just knowing i don't have to sit and listen to a phone ring all day long and try to get my work done you know what i mean but anyway other people have it a lot harder than i do so i shouldn't complain and plus, if I want to do, I could work in my pajamas. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a little bit of time with me. What do you guys think about my mixing things up a little bit? Maybe throwing in some summer wines, maybe doing some battles of some different wine varietals and just having a little bit of fun on Fridays. Life is hard enough. We need to relax and have some fun. So anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun. I love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye.